Hello, I am Max from Test Drive Blogs, and today we're going to have a look at this 1956 Volkswagen Beetle. This is another car that I've been wanting to film for a while just because it was kind of the original small car. As you can tell, the exterior is this kind of tan, uh, beige ish color. It's a chrome door handle, and to the inside, which is uh, tan vinyl. Door handle as well as a window crank, as well as a uh, vent window on the side. Apologize for a little bit of wind noise there maybe. This one shows 49,000 miles on it. And go ahead, take the key as you can see here. Goes in way over here. This car does have a four speed manual transmission. And go and fire it up. It runs really, really good. And, go ahead and close this door. Check out the rest of the interior. So as you can tell, starting over here, you do have a turn signal stock, which is slightly loose. A 90 mile per hour speedometer. Your hood release or uh, trunk release is down here. Only the simplest of gauges. And then I believe all these are your fan controls or maybe lights, as you can tell right there. Windshield wipers. And radio controls. It does have an FM AM radio. Sadly, I don't think it works. Tune is over here. You can have your presets here. And if you want to set a preset, you just pull out on it and it'll set it. And then your choke is over there. That's what it is. So, choke on the far right, radio controls. Windshield wipers and lights. As I mentioned, this car does have a four speed manual transmission. You have first, second, third, and fourth, and go down like that is reverse. Heater controls are down here. Just undo that and it'll let heat into the cabin, as well as an emergency brake. You do have a very small rear view mirror, as well as a visor. So we'll go ahead and turn on the lights. And, let's go ahead and check out the outside. Uh, as I mentioned, this is one of the original Beetles. That this is an early one, which I will show uh, how to tell. First off, you have turn signals right here. Chrome, chrome front bumper. White wall tires. So let's have kind of a running board. One of the main reasons you could tell this is an early Beetle is the earliest ones actually had a split rear window where it was split in the middle and then they switched to this smaller oval window and then later on they had a larger rectangular window. They have vents for the engine. This one has been converted to uh, LED taillights. It 
It does have dual exhaust tips down below. So of course since the Beetle is air cooled when it's shut down for this part of the tour. So we're going to open the hood. Go ahead and check out the passenger side. Do have a glove box as well as an ashtray. There is no uh, visor on this side. As you can tell, the speaker is in here. And it's not really that cramped in here, oddly enough, even though it's a very old, small car. It's, uh, it's actually got a quite a bit of space. And so, just pull it forward in the seat, and you can have access to the back seat. A little bit of space back there. The car has a very nice headliner too. Very good condition. Let's go ahead, open the trunk, and you just pull up on this handle. It does have supports, gas tanks up here, as well as your spare uh, tire and wheel. A little bit of space up on top here. So thank you for watching this tour of the 1956 Volkswagen Beetle. Be sure to check out all of Moto Exotica's info in the description below. And I'm out of here. See ya!